Is this me? Am I am I good to go? Okay, I'm gonna all me. Okay, good. Hi, uh, uh, my name is Dave Matar. I'm really, really, really um, grateful that I was asked to to close this conference about diversity in art. Um, and I thought I would, even though I'm at home, uh, dress up a little bit. Um, okay, so. I'm a queer poet from Liverpool. I run a collective called Liverpool um, Queer Poetry Collective. And at the moment, I'm leading with my friend Brendan um, a 12 week alternative education poetry course uh, called Queer Bodies. And we are, uh, we're doing really well. We're having workshops every week and we're going to have a pamphlet come out in November with a launch party, hopefully. That doesn't get interrupted by COVID. Um, that's the most interesting thing that's happening with me right now. I hope that you've all had a really nice day. Um, and I'm going to start with this poem called For Attention that was published in Rattle Magazine in America. For Attention. I was 10 when I learned that I could hold my breath long enough to make the adults come running. At the traffic lights after school, I tensed till my face screeched with blood, stars. I shattered two teeth on the concrete, was made a fuss of. It wasn't enough to ask for love. I needed panic. It was the language, the formula that I understood. Harm yourself and love will follow. My tiny face found suspended in the coat rack looking for attention. Cord from dad's dressing gown in a double knot round my neck. Their little balloon. Okay. Uh, that was a poem. I mean, I think that was kind of self-explanatory. Um, I used to get called attention seeker in school a lot and I think I'm doing it right now in this dress. Um, and I just thought about what the opposite connotations of that would have been. I thought well, it was probably just asking for love. Um, anyway, so the next poem that I'm going to read is called Queer in Russia. Um, I think this is also self-explanatory. I was just, I had a really terrible horror story about one person who was tricked into meeting someone um, who thought that they were meeting a potential partner or a potential date. Um, and it turned into an assault and it just made me angry. So I read, I wrote this poem a few years ago. Uh, queer in Russia. I want queer poetry from Russia. Queer Russian poetry. Stampeding contemporary zines and journals. Denting the lines. The gates battered, swinging behind them. I want love poems from the queer filmed at gunpoint, made to sit on a glass bottle and confess. For their lovely mouth to open, for the poem to read. At first, I was afraid, I was petrified, for that insolence to leave a mark, cleave the, cleave the Moscow Kremlin, rupture the Russian hilltops, loosen earth from its axis and snooker us gorgeously into the sun. Um, I don't know how much time I have left. Uh, I've not been keeping tabs on the time. I think I've got like another seven-ish minutes left. Um, so yeah, seven-ish minutes, okay. So at the beginning of lockdown, I was commissioned to make a piece of writing with a video um, for a drag cabaret that I'm a part of in Liverpool called Eat Me. Uh, and I, uh, I'm good friends with the person who runs it and I need a deadline, push back, push back, push back. Um, because I just couldn't write anything. I couldn't come up with anything. I didn't know how to write 
in the vacuum, the new conditions of lockdown and quarantine. And I, I, it felt like I was put into a weird kind of choker hold and couldn't come up with anything. Um, and this, is a res this poem is a response to that feeling. It's called Blank Space. Skull like a battered fuse box. Government orders, stay inside, don't touch, don't breathe, stop fucking, stop holding, stop life. Two meters apart at all times, no friends, no family, no capacity for imagination. Brain gone to bed, won't wake. All wires to any emotional response to any of this, cut, spitting, fizzing, dead. Look, two men cycling, one seagull on the roof, have no thoughts, can only follow instruction, read piano music, play piano, medium folk style with much feeling, read cookbook, cook, adding hot stock a ladle full at a time, eating, exercising, punishing myself for not exercising, must stay active, must not think, not have emotion, not go down into the vacuum, but want to think, want to feel something, want to penetrate the sky, a river, a rock, want to join Orinoco flow. Oh, Enya, save us. Nap, wake from a dream of love of touch, of being held to heat of sun through sash windows, meeting heat from radiator. I steam happily, the heat holds me. Impulsive masturbation, want to cry, cannot cry, start to cry, stop. Face like a fruit bowl with a bowling ball dropped on it. Desperate to write, cannot write, start to write, stop. Poetry, come spinning back to me, like a lost frisbee, like a lost dog, like the shits, like student loans, like daffodils. Come back. Thumb hovers over the space bar, threatens me with blank space. Okay, um, that was a pretty long one. Um, so I'm gonna close now. Um, this is a this is a big privilege. Thank you very much for asking me um, to to read and to take part. Um, the next thing I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna close with a video um, that I made during lockdown. Um, and I was I have this huge, gorgeous window. I live in the Georgian Quarter in Liverpool, and I could see the sky all the time. I was permanently in touch with nature through my window, even though we were told not to go outside. And I thought, what was the kindest way to approach, um, to approach myself during this time? Uh, and I thought, well, what would the sky advise to a child um, if they were going through this? And this is what I came up with. Um, just just a trigger warning there's a little bit of non-genital nudity in this um how do i share my screen oh, there we go okay advice from the sky to a child. Open the window. Tie yourself to a balloon and let go. Leave one eye on the windowsill to watch yourself pirouette slowly away into a cloud. Become a cloud. Spongy chunks of knee, skull, shoulder, softening, pulling apart like continents. Pass quietly 
over your house, waking no one. Sail over a mountain that cannot be climbed and crown it. Anchor at the river trapped in its bed. Sigh into a downpour and watch it flood. The earth you love, the people you miss, charge back to them. Touch everything, swamp every letterbox, fill every phone booth, flush any open mouth. Pelicans everywhere, glugging mouthfuls of you down their long white necks. Find mum in the garden, crouched over the soaked budlia, and anoint her worried head. Hello, uh, Dave Matter, thank you so much. That was absolutely amazing. What an incredible end to the day. So thank you. Crowd applause from everyone. Yeah, I'm hearing it. <laughs> um, so that concludes uh, day one of our first ever digital conference um, and we are almost bang on time which is incredible um, I just have to say thank you to a massive thank you to all of our speakers to all of our artists our panelists and our workshop leaders and also thank you to everyone who has come along today um, and stuck with us and uh, and and taken part in all today just to remind you all that everything is available still on attendify so if you haven't managed to catch everything uh then please look back um on the day you can you can remind yourself of all those thought for or thought provoking moments that we've had today um just a quick uh update is that on friday we have the rural touring dance initiative open space day and there are three sessions on on that and that is uh, everyone will join one uh meeting one zoom meeting and you can access that through attendify um and the first one will be equality and diversity and there'll be discussions led around that the second one is digital objectives and the third one is working with children and young people um and so if you would like to come on and have a conversation with experts and uh and bring your own thoughts as well it'd be brilliant um and all that's to be said is that see you see you friday and again next tuesday and thank you again thank you day again thank you um everyone who's been backstage has been nuts today it's been brilliant but crazy uh perhaps it's looked seamless and it has been but it's been a very busy day um thank you again.